The objective of circular economy is to be able to have sustainable growth. Batteries is a good example of that. We need batteries to move away from fossil fuels. But batteries use resources. The resources that we have in the planet are limited. So Hitachi is fostering innovation in that sector to bring a more sustainable battery that is going to allow for that transition. Rome is a group of diverse people from different backgrounds, different social classes, different countries that come together with one common goal. Our mission is to electrify the transport system in Kenya and in Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa faces several challenges in the shift to electrification. Motorcycle taxis called Boda Bodas are the best way to get around, but they have very high CO2 emissions. And that's where Rome comes in. Their electric motorcycles and buses meet the needs of users, are reliable and reduce emissions. Batteries suffer in extremes of temperature and need strategies to address different terrain, different charging patterns, different driver behaviour and different ownership models. Hitachi is committed to decarbonising mobility across the world and supporting ideas that can make it a reality. Data is the key to unlocking battery performance in life. From running Optimize Prime, the largest EV trial in the world, to operating EV buses in Glasgow, we use our understanding of EV fleets to help inform the best practices and solutions for Rome. Ascend Elements is, is revolutionizing the lithium ion battery industry by creating a circular closed loop supply chain. We take discarded lithium ion batteries and recycle them into brand new battery materials more sustainably with higher performance and more efficiently than any other process in the world. Hitachi Ventures got involved with Ascent Elements uh, back in September of 2021. They introduced us to Hitachi High Tech, which is working on a platform to support a circular battery economy. It is the first technology that's purpose designed and purpose engineered for the recycling and manufacturing of lithium ion battery materials. So instead of just closing the loop and, and making it a circular supply chain, we're actually tightening that loop to make it as efficient and economically viable as possible and enabling our goal in achieving 100% battery recycling. At Hitachi High Tech Europe, we have developed two different ways of diagnosis but least state of health. The strength of our solution is that we can provide accurate and rapid state of health information to the customers on the cloud. The combination of using Hitachi's iron milling system and the scanning electron microscope offers the possibility to get a quick and flawless insight into the inner structures of produced battery electrodes. We help to avoid the scrap rate and the average scrap rate what we see at the moment in the industry is about 30%. Capturing data is a very, very important part. And uh, with this system, we are able to identify within a very short time the number of the contaminants and the size of the contaminants. And this gives the manufacturer then the real big advantage to judge if this is a good or a bad quality product uh, before they use it for further processing because if you have to manufacture a battery again because you find out this one is the bad one, you know, that's a complete process. With the data we collect from the batteries at all these stages of the life cycle, we innovate to improve all those different stages and create more sustainable batteries that are going to help our clients to achieve the sustainable growth they are looking for. The Earthshot Prize exists to unleash urgent action and to accelerate innovative solutions that will repair the planet. Only a skilled and dedicated team could help us to achieve these goals. And so that's why we're delighted that Hitachi could join the Global Alliance and help us to achieve this mission. This invaluable support is helping companies such as Rome to plot a course to significant growth, significant investment and ultimately clean transportation for Africa. Without the battery team, 
really there is no electric motorcycle, there is no reduction of carbon emissions. We hold the alternative to fossil fuels and that drives me every day. Being recognized for it gives us more motivation to keep doing what we do because now the world is watching.